everyone, it's Warren from Anchor Explorers. Today uh, we're on another rally hunt in uh, one of our favourite locations, uh, Mount Mulligan in far north Queensland. And uh, today's a bit special, it's a real pri privilege for us to have along with us uh, George Mayer from the North Queensland Miners Den. George being a bit of a legend among uh, metal detectorists in the far north. And he spent many years up here uh, hunting relics and coins and gold of course, and he knows the area intimately, so it's great to have George along with us today. So uh, it's just beautiful weather, it's towards the end of the wet season and uh, it's warm but uh, there's a bit of a breeze so it's going to be a really pleasant day. Uh, the grass is a bit long so that's going to be a battle but uh, we'll hopefully we'll get some nice old coins and relics for you to see. So thanks for watching, we'll be back soon. Here's George in action with his first target for the CTX 3030. We've got George, a piece of lead. And a bit of alloy. Uh, no, it's a uh, toothpaste. Oh yeah, toothpaste tube. Yeah, look at that. You could use to clean your teeth with that. <laughs> yeah. It's a 70 years old. Ring of confidence. <laughs> George is just working along the old footpath there. You can see the gutter there. It's always worth persevering here because there's always a few little coins and maybe a little uh, bit of jewellery left here behind. This is my first target of the day with the AT Pro. It's the top of an old safety razor at, uh, dating from the 1950s. This target's very shallow, I'm getting a very consistent 81. Have a look at the target ID there. So as you can see, it's, uh, well you may not be able to see it, but it's uh, a thin veneer of soil on top of rock, so whatever it is, it's not going to be very far down there. I'll uh, we'll scratch it out live and we'll see what we come up with. Eh? Let's check out the pro pointer actually, it mightn't be far off. Hmm, there. Just got to be a bit careful there. It looks like it's a coin. You can see it there. It was a lovely high reading. Oh, it looks it's going to be a silver coin. It's a beautiful little sixpence. Look at that. What a ripper. Beautiful, consistent high tone 81. A little sixpence in amongst the rocks here. There she is. So, uh, there's a uh, coat of arms. And I'll give it a clean and we'll get a date. What a beautiful coin in absolutely superb condition. It's a 1925 sterling silver sixpence. This is the Australian coat of arms on the uh, reverse. And on the obverse we'll have King George V. Smiling away there. Beautiful coin. Well that was a very shallow target and a high reading and it was a compact uh, signal too. So I wasn't surprised when that coin came out of the ground. I'll just search in this area in case there's more coins in this spot. As you can see it's fairly overgrown up here today, uh, we've had the summer rains, it's towards the end of the wet season but uh, it's possible to tip, pick targets out of the rocks on the grass if you just go really low and slow as I just got that sixpence, so that was just over there, about uh, 15 metres. This one here, it's out of, the t out of the hole, put the iron on there, it's a 79, it wasn't a terribly clean signal when I dug it so I'm not confident this, this is going to be... Uh, the coin but maybe a bottle top or something because I've got a little bit of an iron grunt on it but it is a very clean signal it's in here somewhere what I'll do I'll uh, might check this at the pro pointer it's too much grass in here and I've got it in my hand okay let's have a look here could be a bottle top because it's a pretty scrappy oh no look look what it is it's an old a lady's hair clip Typical 1950s, 1940s hair clip that we get up here. Well, that's a nice little find. Lovely old relic in the backyard of what was an old house here. Well, not the detected target. I'm still digging a 75 signal in this hole, which is getting rather deep. So it may be a large target. I don't think it's going to be a coin. But look at this beautiful old piece of uh, very delicate china teacup just come out of the ground. Have a look at that. Beautiful. Very or no, It's very thin. It's fairly uh, probably fine bone china, that. Nice one. Well, now we're in the vicinity of the old railway station. This is the actual platform and goods siding along this area. Got right, a uh, shallow scrape. There came a 78. So we'll have a look at this one together. I don't know what's in this mallet keep, but uh, hopefully we'll find something of uh, interest. Okay, I've got it in my hand already. Let's have a look. 
Uh, oh, could be a coin. Is not a coin. It's a washer. What a bummer. Signal here is in the mid to high 80s. I've got an 84 to 86 bouncing a little bit, but it's a fairly uh, compact target. It's a very high target ID. So uh, hopefully this will be a, uh, a decent find. Once again, none of the targets here are very deep. Um, some of the areas where you had a lot of uh, uh, water activity, you do get a bit of wash on top of the coins and things, and they can be uh, a bit deeper in those uh, instances, but not up in this rocky area. Okay. That was. It was out, and I didn't see anything come out. Because uh, it might only be a small target. Okay. In here somewhere. Okay, we're in there now. Let's get rid of some of this grass. Okay. Let's hope it's not a bottle top. Could be anything. Pretty good signal, isn't it? Oh, it's another silver coin. Look at that. Oh, it's another beautiful sixpence. Beautiful. That one rung up quite a bit higher than that uh, 1925 and I think this is another 1920 sixpence yeah it's a fairly worn looking KG5 I think it's 1927 you might be able to read that there I can't quite see it oh that's a good one in this long grass I just, I was just uh, ambling along sort of not really concentrating at this lovely high tone and that was it well there she is it is a 1927 a beautiful sterling silver sixpence um, not as worn as I thought, that side there, the reverse is just lovely. The king side is slightly, uh, looks like that's, yeah, it's not as, uh, the detail isn't as good on that side, but uh, no, that's a beautiful little coin in great condition. There's no marks or anything on it and not even any tarnish for a sterling silver coin. Beautiful. Well, I was just detecting down the side of the road, principally because the grass on the verges is very thick and uh, rather high. Got a lovely 75 signal, and you can see I just got a third silver coin for the day. And it's a little strippers. It's a beauty. I can see it's a King George 6. It'll be a sheaf of wheat strippers. Ripper. I'll give her a clean and we'll have a look at a date. Well, there she is. It's a wartime strippers. It's a 1943 sheaf of wheat Australian strippers. King George 6. Look at the condition of that thing. Gorgeous. What a beauty. Well, I'll just uh, persist along these road verges here and see what else turns up. Okay, I'm still detecting down the road. It'll probably come about 30 metres since that threepence. This is a lovely high tone 82. There's the hole. Uh, it's a very small target. I'm hoping it's going to be uh, something... Oh, it's something. All right, here it is here. I can see it come out the side. And it's a beautiful penny right on the side of the road what a beauty well the detect the road strategy's paid off I've uh, picked up two coins in about the space of 10 minutes actually I can't make that out is it, it might be an old English penny uh, stand by and I'll give it a clean and we'll see what that is well it's a kangaroo penny in excellent condition you can see King George V there facing to the left uh, this side is very dirty I don't want to clean it too much it's a kangaroo so it's post 38, um, but that's the, sort of a clay soil really sticking to that. I'll wait till I get home to clean that properly, otherwise I might scratch it. So that's a nice little find off the road, the second coin off the road. Well, this will give you some idea of where I'm detecting. You can see there's old fence posts, and these are old house stumps. There would have been uh, high set Queenslander style homes through here, or mid set anyway, not terribly high set. You can see there's old uh, water tanks in there. So there's about seven or eight old houses down in this direction, and at the uh, bottom of this little slope was the cricket oval um, and this is the road I've been detecting now just here I've got a really good uh, high tone signal which you might dig here 83 so we'll have a dig here and we'll see what comes out of this it seems to be a small target no conductivity could be another coin on the road who knows? Just have a scratch in here. I don't think it's going to be too far down because uh, 
I didn't have to wave the detector too, too close to it to get the signal. A bit of old bottle there. Because the road gets very rarely might get graded by the council on very rare occasions, so this could be why uh, this target's a high tone 79. I've dug it out of the hole, still on the road, down the uh, gutters of the road, verges of the road. Might be lead. Looks like a piece of. Not lead, but a cut piece of. Oh, you know what that is? It's part of the number of an old Queensland uh, lead number plate. The lead uh, lettering. Bottom off a three or something like that. <laughs> well, logically, that'd be on the road. We're still on the ra road here, and uh, that's just for a lovely old surface find. Something we all like to find in these old places. It has beautiful old glass marble. Boys have been playing marbles at the front of the house or something, and one marble's gone astray. Look at that. Glorious condition. It's not even chipped. Beauty. Big sister. Okay, Colin's picked up a couple of bottles here. This one's a big sister. Sauce bottle, I suppose. What's the other one? It looked like a medical bottle or something. That brown one. An old one. Yeah. And what'd you say? You got a buckle. Yeah, that medical bottle might be... Uh, it looks like a medical bottle. I was going to say calamine lotion, but it's a bit big, isn't it? Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's beautiful. Really nice buckle. That'll polish up beautifully. That's a great find. Excellent. Okay, well, we're back uh, for a cold drink, and there's George's finds with his uh, CTX 3030. His find of the day, a beautiful florin, which he informs you was a sunbaker. Looks like QE2 was in the sun there, George. Yeah, yeah. Some 303 bullets. Uh, a couple, couple of pennies? Yeah, a couple of 303s and uh, lead heads and the usual suspect bits of yeah. junk. <laughs> the well, lead nails are everywhere. Well, yeah. well, I don't mind finding those because they indicate you're near a building. Yeah. But you've been coming up here for a long time, George, so uh, you're a bit of a pioneer of Mount Mulligan metal detecting. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, that's a good it's day getting, out. It's getting harder and harder to find stuff, but it's still around. Yeah. If you work for it, you'll find it, too. Yeah. yeah. And of course the new detect detectors are a bit uh, better mm. at getting in amongst mm. things and among identifying iron targets. But it doesn't help when the grass looks like that. No, that's right. This is what we've been uh, contesting with today. We've pretty much been uh, confined to the ball patches and uh, and the roadway, so it says something of George's ability there to find those coins, especially that florin, so that was a great day for George. Well, these are the, uh, some of the other finds from today. Uh, Colin found this beautiful uh, ornate ladies uh, very delicate dress buckle. I guess a little belt would have gone with that. The glass marble I found, uh, threepence, a couple of uh, sixpences, and a penny that I've got to clean up when I get home. So uh, that's been a great day out. We've had some nice finds here today in pretty tough condition. Well, we're going to head off home now. It's late in the afternoon and we've made some great finds there today. Uh, it's been a really good day out, and as I said, we had uh, George along with us today, which is a real privilege. George made some great finds there, so. If you're uh, ever up in the north, uh, make sure you drop in and see George at NQ Miners down for all your prospecting and uh, detecting supplies and all your local knowledge. He'll know, he'll put you on the right track wherever you want to go on coins, relic or gold. So anyway, uh, thanks for watching everybody. Uh, happy hunting. Bye for now.